Hello everybody, this is Terracon4, and this is going to be a quick, simple demo video on setting up the Interact and Possession system, if you just want to simply interact and possess some stuff. And that kind of touch the multi-system, I'll link to a video that goes over some of the differences there in the uh, description down below, but let's just get into it. So the core idea is, you can hit E, or whatever your Interact request is, in order to send Interact requests to stuff. And then, in this case, you can hit E to get out of something. It can also be used for some basic interactions like this to open doors or things. So this is the desired behavior. That is the third person character component, which can be found here in the third person demo assets under the active possession. This is its example character. Here we've got a character which we've just added the content third person example pack so third person start content and this guy's blank slate so we are setting him to auto possess zero so that we will now possess him but he walks up here e nothing e nothing e nothing he can't interact so we want to make it so that he can interact with stuff so this is the equivalent of your character in your game so we can reference that other character what does it have well it's got a few things, but the main part is an interact component and an interact from uh, component. So in this case, we'll just go here and add interact VP. And with this, we have the following component. It interacts from a component that has this in its name. Now we could use this arrow. I prefer an arrow around the head. It can be an existing component. We just get the forward X direction from it. In this case, let's put this up a bit close to his head as a new component and name that interact from. So this, the interact BP, would make an interact request from that location. But when you make so we can actually make that request. So we'll go back here and reference this guy again. He does this via the E button, making a request here. So we'll just copy this. And here we have our file character, event graph, Drop this in here. Uh, whenever you paste events, they will try and still reference something on the previous actor they were on, so just right click and refresh node so it properly references the event that you copied over here. In this case, we'll just do it from scratch though. E keyboard is our interacting request. We'll take our interact BP and create the interact request message. So in multiplayer, we would want to add custom event and do like a request client interact whatever you go up here you'd set it to run on server and then you would call that event with this interact request long one request client interact i was calling that other one up there so this is the basic idea here of just how you make something on the server and if it's important you'd click reliable uh, and with that, you tap something, and it would make this request from the server. In this case, we're just doing this quick single-player example, but that's how you would do that. So the Interact Blueprint component, we're doing this Interact request from. And now you could just take this component itself and say, hey, we'll point directly forward, whatever's in front of the characters, what we want to interact with, but instead, let's make it so that whatever the camera, that direction it's looking at, is the direction that we'll make the interact trace from. So in this case, we'll just take our camera and say, hey, look at direction from the camera, where it's forward X axis. Now, interaction types is more or less just a big array. This pretty much just says what types of uh, interacts we can do. For example, you might want to have it so that you have opening doors is a one, uh, opening heavily like a door that has a requires a certain key is a two, and getting to a vehicle is a three. But hey, if you're in a giant suit of power armor, you could stay open doors, but you might not be able to get into vehicles because you wouldn't fit. So you might still have one and two, but you might no longer have three then. So it's just a way to roughly identify certain things. So with this, we have the ability to tap E and our interact component will send an interact request and it will allow us to do the interaction types of one, two, and three. And I tend to, again, think of that as like doors or whatever, but it's whatever you want in your project, whatever you want to identify those as. You could make everything just 
zero if you wanted. If that's all you need. So with this, we can now go here, walk up, and we can now possess and interact with things. With this, our character can do the interactive possession. So that's pretty simple. Just drop in the component, have something that it will make the trace from, and set up this simple request in the event graph. A little bit more work if you're doing replication, but with that, that's that. So now let's go and look at making something that we can actually possess. Here's an example of this thing over here that we could enter and move around a little bit. It has possession system. Look at info, which can allow you to set up the ability to, uh, that'd be an example for your user interface. If you want to look at something and say, hey, you are able to enter a vehicle, your interface would be able to tell you, hey, you can enter a vehicle now if you press E. Uh, look into the documentation for more details on that or reference these examples. Not going to touch too much on this video. We're just focusing on the possession side right now. In order for this to work, we have the enter volume, which this is where you make that line trace to to actually say, hey, am I able to enter something? You'd put this over, say, the door of a vehicle or whatever. And then we have exit points, which are where it will spawn you when you leave. The possession system itself has, as you can see, interact volume keyboard and exit point keywords. Now, we're going to go and take this drone, which we decide that we're going to want to be able to do some work from. Now, we'll just get rid of these, and yeah. So, blank slate, drone. Currently, doesn't have anything. Uh, normally, if we want to be like the door, we would go here to interfaces and add interact, blueprint interface. Or if you had a car where you could enter it from some doors, but there's a trunk or something you can pop, then you'd want to do this and compile and once that's compiled you'll have access to this interact notification where you can add some code like here which is where you manually can set up accepting interact requests and what to do with them you might set it up so that if it's a certain request from a certain component we'll pop the trunk or certain things but in this case this drone all we could do is directly possess it so we don't need to actually bother with that instead we will simply add the Possession system. And here, this lovely little option, sole interact method on actor. With this, as long as we're using that interact component, it will do a quick check. Is there a possession system on the target? And if so, if this is true, it will directly send its request to this, so we won't actually have to bother with the interact notification, which nicely streamlines that. So we have here our possession system, and we've set this to true. Now we need to know how to interact with it. So, box collision. And 150, 100, 100, whatever, something around that. Yeah, make it slightly bigger. Yeah. So with this, this will be our interact volume. So, possession system, enter volume, and we'll just set that to be the name. The possession system will now find components with the enter volume, whatever this keyword is, in their name in order to assign them certain parts. Similar to how the interact component was finding a component that had that keyword in order to use as the uh, interact from source. So going back to our drone, we've got this, we've got our enter volume. We can now add an arrow and call it exit point zero one just to differentiate it from anything else. We don't actually have anything else on here, but good habit in case we had multiple so we could have an exit point on each side in case say this side was blocked off so with this we have these now if we wish to exit this because that might be a thing we can do an exit actor request and we'll just set this up to keyboard and with this, we can tap E from this thing in order to exit it. And here we can double check what is our enter volume. It is currently overlap all dynamic, set to custom to get more detailed stuff. It is overlapping on the visibility side, and it is this. So and we'll just set it to ignore phrase things on collision, but we can still try and trace to it. 
Yet at the same time, the third person character, his interact component, has the interactable object types, world static, world dynamic, and pawn. So we should now be able to interact with this. And because it's pawn, we can possess it. So now we can drive this thing around. And do all of its stuff. Tap E, and we get out on the side of it. So with this, we have created a taken a character, and we can now interact with various things using him, and we have set up our own vehicle or object, which we can now interact with and possess and get out of. So this is the core simple aspect of the interactive possession system. There are some more details which you can look through the documentation, double check the Discord at the end of the documentation, but before the update section, there's some contact information so that you can find the Discord channel in other areas. And for the uh, interaction multi-system, which is a bit of its own can of worms, uh, there is another video I have which goes over this in a bit more detail. But the core idea of this version is that you could, let's see, with two people. Could have one person who goes here and activates one actor, but there's the actual tank, the main driving part, and the turret. So, the idea being here that you can have multiple people in a single actor, and also just the part that even if you are not caring about multiple people in an actor, it does keep your own actor around and attached to something, so you can have your character left visible. Worth saying, dude, how the system works, that whole ability to exit to a location uh, and have it block your exit from the exit point if it is obscured will not work with this system, but for the most part, it does offer its own advantages. It's mostly the same in how it works at the core, but some differences, so you can check that video, link in the description below. So, hope this has proven informative and useful, and hope you have a pleasant, healthy, and productive week. So long.